you've just purchased the impressive Corvette Z06 and you're ready to break in its engine. You may have a lot of questions and you want to do it right. I'm your host, Billy Consor. Welcome to Chevy My Way Corvette Expert Sessions. Let's talk to the experts about the do's and don'ts of breaking in the LT6. Hey, Gentlemen, Billy. good to see you. Good to see you, Billy. So a lot of passion has gone into the Z06 and its engine and you want to break it in properly, correct? Breaking the engine is really important. The owner's manual gives you the guidance on the 500 miles for street driving and then the 1500 miles for track driving. Just give your engine that time so everything's working the way it should before you run it too hard. 670 horsepower, 8600 RPM. There's a lot of moving components in the engine. This engine is a very high speed engine, makes a lot of power, there's a lot of load on the components. There was an old saying long ago, the saying was drive it like you stole it. Don't do that, that's a terrible thing to do. What are the exact components that we're protecting by breaking in the engine? The biggest component you're protecting is the running surfaces or the bearings. You need to give the bearings that first critical 500 miles. So there's actually some material in the bearing that moves around. The top layer of the bearing is about 20 microns thick. Human hair is about 70, so we're talking fractions of a human hair. Since the engine vibrates, it's going through these orbits and gyrations, that soft top layer on the bearing will actually move around and adapt and provide clearance so that you'll never have a worry of scuffing the bore of the bearing to the, the journal of the crankshaft. And I'll give you an analogy. I think it's a good analogy for Corvette customers. A polisher, you go at it very slow and smooth and you get a brilliant, beautiful, polished surface. If you go at it aggressively and push too hard, you're gonna scuff the paint and you're gonna damage it. So that's exactly what the bearing's doing is the crankshaft is rotating and you're going through miles and you're varying the speed and load. It's polishing the high surfaces to provide that clearance. So if you sit at one speed and load, it's kind of going to break into one condition. You really want the bearing and the crankshaft to see that wide range of operation that the car is destined for, and varying it around allows it to break in across that range. Okay, so in addition to the engine break-in, is there a period of break-in for the transmission? Since we actually reduce engine power by a certain percentage for the first 500 miles in the first two gears, the tachometer will tell you. So it's giving that suggestion of the lower than 8,600 RPM red line. Remind you for the first 500 miles. At 500 miles, that opens up. That is street driving, you can use all the car. The dyno test for the LT6, it's unique for the, call it more mainstream high volume OEMs. Big exotics, they do it. The big three, the high volume, the typical American pony cars, it's not done. It is a great quality gate. So instead of just idling the engine on a dyno, this is a full load, high speed dyno test. It does start that break-in process. We get that kick started a little bit in a controlled setting where we can control the temperatures, the speed profile, and things like that. It's a gentle send-off to start the break-in process. and allows us to check the oil, check everything, that everything's good to go, so the customer has a great experience in the deal site. What type of oil is used in the Z06 and what makes it so unique? Uh, we developed an all new oil for the LT6 engine. It's a 5W50 and it's a Dexos R. R stands for racing. We're really proud of this oil. We work very closely with Exxon Mobil. The oil type is a big enabler for what this engine does, right? I mean, we're breaking records for naturally aspirated horsepower with this engine. If you think about everything else in the LT6, the engineering has to be precise to the micron to make these parts work. The oil life monitoring system is the same way. It, it's actively looking at the way the engine's being used and what it's doing and factor that into the life or longevity of the oil and just follow the dash and it'll tell you when it's time. It's been finely engineered, every piece and every component on the engine. It's been expertly built here at the Formix Build Center, and we do everything possible to make it easy for the customer to take good care of the car. So let's do a recap. Drive at varying speeds and RPMs. Remember, there's a 500 mile break-in period for street driving, and a 1500 mile break-in period for the track. Now that we know what to do, you can get out there and start putting those miles in. Thank you for joining me for Chevy My Way Corvette Expert Sessions.